In this short video, solar contractor David Buckner explains why New York is one of the most affordable areas in the country for investing in commercial photovoltaic systems. Mr. Buckner is the president of the Brooklyn-based installation firm, Solar Energy Systems. Photovoltaics generate electricity from sunlight. The major components of a solar electric system are solar modules on the roof, uh, wiring down into what we call an inverter, and that inverter takes a DC electricity and inverts it into AC electricity, which is what we use in our everyday lives. Well, it's, it's pretty simple. You, once you've installed the system, anything that you're generating, you're not buying from the utility. If you're producing more electricity during the day than you're consuming, the electricity goes back to the grid, the meter spins backwards, and the utility pays you the retail rate. And that's called net metering. It is a good fit for large commercial properties. Typically, we look for larger, flatter roofs. You'll find those more in the outer boroughs. We have done a number of systems in Manhattan, but you're typically on taller buildings and, and smaller roofs there. You're looking at about 5,000 square feet of usable roof surface to, to install a system of about 50 kW, and that's about average in New York City. In recent years, the cost of solar electric systems has declined dramatically. We may not get the same amount of sunlight as, say, southern Arizona, but uh, the payback is great here because of those high electricity rates that we're offsetting. Based on today's electricity rates, annual savings for a 50 kilowatt system are about $10,000. As electricity rates continue to rise, that value annually goes up as well. Now with the federal, state, and local incentives, New York City is actually one of the most economically viable places in the country to go solar. An average 50 kilowatt system in New York City retails for about $400,000. However, your ultimate after incentive cost could be well less than $40,000. One of the most significant incentives available currently is the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority's rebate, which could bring the cost down to about $200,000. Often that rebate is uh, taken out of the, the overall contract so that the customer doesn't have to come up with the full amount. And it pays for 40% of the overall cost. On top of that, you also are eligible for a 30% federal tax credit. That, that federal tax credit can be taken all in the first year, or if need be, it can be spread out over 20 years. There's also at the federal level, there's an accelerated depreciation schedule that can be applied. What, what that means is in, instead of depreciating the equipment straight line over 20 years, you can depreciate the full value uh, in the first five years. Finally, in New York City, a uh, commercial building owner can recoup an additional 35% of the remaining costs after rebate in the form of a property tax abatement. It's taken in four equal parts over four years and it comes out to eight and three quarters percent per year. You're almost to 100% just on incentives after four years. The, the first thing you want to check out is whether your site's viable or not. And that can be done by calling a contractor who can typically take a look from their desk, maybe a uh, Google Earth shot, a satellite shot on the internet. A roof should be generally south facing or flat, uh, then we can orient the modules uh, to the south. Uh, the next uh, limiting factor may be shading, and that's what we would do in a site assessment. In New York City, we have less of a problem with trees. It's, it's more about uh, adjacent buildings. Uh, there's mechanical equipment on the roofs that we need to work around and, and make sure that we don't get too much shading from these things. Because these systems do last so long, you, you want to make sure that the roof itself is in good condition. If it's not, you want to consider doing maybe a new roof during the project. With the actual cost of the project in hand, we can then prepare a full analysis, an economic analysis of the project showing what their incentives are, what the system performance is going to be, what their annual savings are, and what the system is going to produce and, and save them over its lifetime. The customer can then see when they're actually going to uh, reach their payback. And typically, in New York City at this point, it's less than five years. Once we receive a contract, 
It takes us about two weeks to generate the electrical drawings and the submittal packages necessary to secure the NYSERDA rebate and also uh, the submission to Con Edison. New York City Department of Buildings requires a permit for these systems and we submit those applications around the same time. The, the turnaround time for the state rebate application and the utility approval is about one month. Once we get approval for the state rebate and utility interconnection, we place the equipment order. Equipment takes about one month to arrive. After arrival of the equipment, the actual installation of the system takes about two weeks. Once the system's installed and commissioned, we start calling for all the inspections. That would be the utility as well as the Department of Buildings. On, on average, from the time of contract signing, we can complete the system and get all approvals and sign-offs from the local authorities within four to six months. If you are a commercial property owner interested in finding out if photovoltaics is right for your building and need additional information, please contact SolarOne Outreach Coordinator Chris Nidal.